Barkley Brookers. Back again with our second story. It is the sequel to the story that we read earlier, and this one is called Pirates Don't Change Diapers. That should look familiar. It's a close-up of the treasure map that Jeremy Jacob drew for the pirates. Ooh. If you have a little brother or sister or a little baby cousin, you know about those things. Pirates don't change diapers. They don't even change socks. I know because I used to be a pirate, but that is another story. Today, while I was wondering what to buy my mother for her birthday with the 27 cents in my pocket, Mom came into the room. Jeremy Jacob, she said, I have to go get some milk. Your dad's taking a nap, so try not to bother him. As she went out the door, she called, If your sister wakes up, try to keep her happy. I'll be back soon. Oh, great, I thought. Keeping that baby happy is never easy. Mom had hardly been gone a minute when I heard a knock on the door. I peeked through the peephole. <gasps> Who is it? There were some old friends on the front porch. Ahoy there, Jeremy Jacob. Are we ever glad to see you, said Captain Braidbeard. We've run into a boatload of trouble. Our ship ran aground on a coral reef. The bow broke open and our figurehead's nose tore right off. I had it carved special to look just like me blessed mother, too. I, his mother, the crew chorused. There's their figurehead that looks just like his mother. And her nose broke off, you can see. It'll have to be replaced, and that'll cost us a pretty penny, Braidbeard said. We be needing the treasure we buried in your backyard. Treasure, the pirates repeated. With all that yelling, my baby sister woke up. It's a miracle my dad didn't wake up, too. There she is. Arr, hollered Braidbeard. What be that caterwauling? That's Bonnie Ann, I said, and I'm supposed to keep her quiet. You'll have to help me babysit. Babysit, Braidbeard scratched his head. Pirates don't sit on babies. No sitting on babies, hollered the crew. But there was no way we'd be digging up the treasure, I told him, until Bonnie Ann was happy again. Now, a cool connection, my friends. His baby sister's name is Bonnie Ann. There actually was one of the few female pirates in history whose name was Anne Bonnie. Little connection. And that is how the pirates became babysitters. Jeez. Ha ha. Bonnie Ann always has her diaper changed after her nap, but the pirates needed a lot of practice. Things got really interesting when we ran out of diapers. There's all the practicing they did on the dog and each other. Wait, what? Oh, what did they use when they ran out of diapers? Then it was Bonnie Ann's lunchtime. And when she gets hungry, everybody knows it. Braidbeard sniffed the baby food. Shiver me, Timbers, he yelled. What be this vile smelling swill? Strained spinach, I told him. Strained spinach, Braidbeard said. A build rat wouldn't eat this stuff. Then Bonnie Ann sneezed. I got out of the way just in time. Ah, strained spinach, wailed the pirates. Spinach. Let's see. Jeremy Jacob got out of the way. When Bonnie Ann was finally changed and fed, we thought we'd be able to get outside to dig, but every time we tried to sneak away, the baby got fussy again. She does that a lot. Now what does the wee mutineer want? Braidbeard demanded. Maybe you should rock her, I said. Aye then, bellowed Braidbeard. Rock on, me hearties! Rock on, cheered the crew. Not that kind of rock, I groaned. Use the rocking chair. Rock, 
When rocking didn't work, we tried pirate peekaboo. We danced a pirate jig. We sang sea chanties. Look, I whispered. She's falling asleep again. Quick, let's dig up the treasure now. Time to dig laddies, commanded Braidbeard. Shh, I said. Not so loud. Not so loud, roared the pirates. Uh-oh. Did she stay asleep? Bonnie Ann caterwauled until we found the only person who could keep her quiet. Quicker than you could say scurvy dog, we headed out the door to get the treasure. The map, said Braidbeard. Hand over the map. The map? Everybody emptied their pockets. No luck. The wee lass, she must have it. Braidbeard hollered and we all ran for the door, but the map wasn't there. Neither was Bonnie Ann. The map, cried Beard. The treasure, boomed the crew. The baby, I yelled louder than anyone. After all, she is my sister, and I was getting really worried. <gasps> we searched all over the house and then ran back outside. We stopped so fast we were almost pirate pancakes. There was Bonnie Ann, and she had the map. Avast, yelled Braidbeard. The wee lass has eaten it. Now we'll never be able to fix the ship. We're marooned. Marooned, moaned the others. Mom, why did she eat the map? Because she's a baby, and babies eat things they aren't supposed to eat. Maybe not, I said. Thanks to my little sister, I think I know exactly where to dig. With all of us digging, we found the treasure in no time. Braidbeard opened the chest and grinned. Choose your reward, Jeremy Jacob. You've earned your fair share. Didn't take me long to decide. Green is my mom's favorite color. If you need a babysitter again, matey, Braidbeard said, you know where to find us. Just run the Jolly Roger up yonder pole. Up yonder pole, I shouted. As the pirates headed back to their ship, Bonnie Ann and I ran straight for the house. We had a birthday present to wrap. Is it his birthday? And that is the end of Pirates Mom, Don't Change Diapers. So, a couple of good ideas for you, my friends. There are lots of apps, free ones, that you can download that can, um, that can let you do a scavenger hunt. It tells you things to go out and find in the backyard. So if you ask mom or dad or grandma or grandpa or um, babysitter or whoever's home with you during your homeschooling right now, um, they might uh, download an app for you so that you can go on a scavenger hunt. Even if you don't have um, an app to do a scavenger hunt, a grown-up can make you one yourself. Or you can make one. Just think of five to ten things that might be a little bit hard to find um, and you can take your list outside and you can go ahead and find them make sure you have a grown-up with you make sure you have a grown-up's permission before you do this but scavenger hunts are a really fun way to pass the time if you'd like a little extension art project you could make your very own pirate treasure map my Brody made his own pirate treasure map. I'm gonna say that that's X marks the spot right there in the middle. Yes? Yes. Ooh, I did make an X. So you can, oh, he said he didn't make an X. He's gonna go make his X right now. So you can make your very own pirate treasure map um, and be as creative as you want. Use your bubblegum brains. All right, have a great week. Uh, when the weather allows, get outside. Even if it's raining, my friends, put on your jackets, put on your boots. Um, Brody and I uh, love to go outside and explore in the rain. We go on, we call them worm walks. We go on worm walks and go exploring when it rains. We follow the little trickles of, of rainwater that run down. Hey, there's his X. That's a pretty good X, my friend. Nice job. All right, and um, I'll see you soon. I Miss you like those crazy. Empties. Oh, that's your your sword and shield. Mm -hmm. All right. Bye.